my channel. Welcome here if you're new. I'm Katie and today we're doing a pretty massive boohoo haul. I went on the website, or actually I went on the app because it's so much easier to use, and bought roughly about $200 Australian worth of clothes, which actually got me a lot more than I thought it would. So it is a try and haul. I'm gonna let you know my body shape and body size. So I'm about 157 centimeters tall, which is quite short. I'll put the footage here. The footage? How many feet and inches I am, just so everyone else in the uh, western side of the world can uh, know what size I am. I'm also roughly about 73 kilos at the moment. So I am technically a plus size girl. I'm okay with it at the moment. I'm on my weight loss journey like a lot of other people. But if you are roughly my size and body shape, then this might be a good go-between. That way you can judge of what your body shape might be as well. I'll of course talk about all the products and then I'll show you what they look on in the model on Boohoo and then I'll show you what they look like on me. Obviously there is always a huge difference from like online versus reality. Some things were pretty uh, pretty bad actually. There was a lot of things that weren't good quality and I just had a lot of bad things about, but other things are really good quality, which I was really happy about, and I'll explain that all in the video. So if you want to see me try on a whole bunch of boohoo.com clothing, just keep watching. Oh, but don't forget to subscribe. The first item I want to talk about are these pair of pants. Now these look so cute on the model, I'm not gonna lie. I think there's even like the petite range maybe. Yeah, the petite paper bag waist tapered check. And these look really cute. And I'll put the photo up here of what it looks like in the model and now I'm going to show you the footage of what I look like in these pants. Now from the front they look absolutely amazing. They hug you right there and then I turn around and I'm like what? There's like a foot of like waist there. I don't understand. It's like they've kept my ass huge but then they forgot that my waist would be smaller than my butt. And it looks horrible so I'm actually going to have to ask my mum because I'm a terrible sewer to take these in because I really like the pants it's just they look horrible from behind and they technically fit because they fit my thighs really well and my butt it's just my waist I do not understand where the style they were going with this it looks so bad next up we've got these really really beautiful paper bag white pants these are the high waisted eyelet slim fit pants I don't actually reckon they're that slim fit by any means I just love them. They are a little bit sheer. I do find with a lot of Boohoo quality products that are white especially, you always see your butt through it and especially your undies. So I like to go Commando because Commando is okay to go once in a while. Um, but they do look really nice. I love how like I styled these with like a nice crop top or a wintry one. I think these will look really, really cute over the cooler months. Onto this burgundy knit sweater dress thing. And I love a good sweater dress in the winter time because you feel cute because I actually hate wearing pants in general. I'm not a pants person. I'm more of a dress or no pants in general because I don't like wearing them. Um, so it's supposed to look really good. Except for this one, you can kind of see, but it's actually quite see-through when you put it on. And I first time I tried it on, I had a white bra and like um, black undies on, and you could see them right through. So if you're gonna wear this, I'm definitely gonna have to wear either like a nude everything so everything sort of ties in or like a slip dress underneath which is inconvenient because these are the type of things that I like to throw on and go but you do have to be mindful but I will put the price next to it so you can judge the quality for price with all the products. The next sweater dress is actually really good quality which is so weird considering the last one wasn't. This is a beige slash like off-white it's like ivory I wouldn't call it like white by any means um, it's because they're calling it cream, they're not calling it white. This is the crew neck jumper dress and this one is double lined. It is still slightly see-through, but it's a lot more opaque than the other dress. I really like this one. If I had fake tan on, I feel like my skin tone would really, really pop. But I don't have a fake tan, so I'm alright with being pasty and white in like the winter time. But this dress is really cute. Throw on some like high leg boots, a bit of belt, some accessories, and I think you could go for a night out. Not like I ever go out, but still cute. Next up is uh, possibly this skirt that I probably won't wear outside of the house or even inside the house. It's kind of weird. It's a skater skirt. I'm actually a massive fan of skater skirts. I always have been. Um, but this one, is, okay, it is my fault. It is my fault. This is the petite size skater skirt. Um, petite girls, I guess, don't usually have a butt. And because I got a bubble butt, it makes the shirt, skirt really short, so you can't bend over in it and look like a lady by any means. Well, I can't, I'm not that much of a lady for one. But I do really think it's cute, it goes with a lot of items. It's a good staple, it's just not for 
Not for me with my bubble butt. That's all it is. I grabbed a good staple. I really wanted this haul to be full of staples that didn't actually turn out to be staples. I just didn't grab anything I really plan on it, to be honest. That's such a me thing to do. But I grabbed a white long sleeve, like sweater crop. It's ideal for winter. I love a good crop top. I'm not afraid to show a little bit of belly. I'm really not. It's just who I am. If you're offended by my belly, probably on the wrong channel, to be honest. Or my butt. My butt comes out a lot on this channel. Um, but this is a good staple. You pair it with like a nice pair of jeans or a nice pair of trousers or anything like that. And you're good to go. It's a cute, really cute shirt. Speaking of another really, really cute item. This colour, oh my god, it is so cute. It's actually not coming up on camera as well as I'd like. But it's super, super cute blue. It is a turtleneck crop top obsessed with it. It's actually like a longer crop. I wouldn't, I have like no torso. I'm just like butt and then boobs. This is like no middle ground for me. Um, so this actually covers my entire mid-range area, um, which yeah, good and bad. I love the colour. I love the feel of it. It's actually quite thick and warm, so I'm really okay with this. Here's winter over here. Just so you know, I do live in Australia. We're like reverse in the world. It's cold right now. I wouldn't even call it cold. It's still like 22 degrees, which I reckon it's pretty warm for winter when everyone else in the world has winter and they're like frozen over in the ice age. So we do have the advantage of that. But I grabbed another sweater. It's like this baby blue slash lilac. I really wouldn't call it a straight blue color. It's really, really pretty. Um, not that warm. It's more of like a daytime sweater instead of a shirt, which I'm okay with, but it's cute as hell. Now, if you didn't notice because I'm wearing a rainbow pride shirt, but I'm not even wearing it because it's pride month, I just love rainbows and colourful neons and rainbows and beautiful colours. Um, I love colours. <laughs> and I grabbed this. Okay, this is the one thing I was really disappointed in because I wanted to love it so much because look at that colour. I look like Kermit and I like want to wear Kermit so badly, but the quality was pretty average to be honest. This is the... Ugh, let me find it. Where's the tag? The Tall Neon Rib Roll Neck Bodysuit in Lime. Now, okay, this is my fault because it said tall, but seeing as I have a tummy and a butt, kind of evens out, so it actually fits pretty well. It's just not the best quality material. I grabbed a size 12, which I'm usually quite comfortable in, but the arms are very, very tight. I think I just have to wear it or wash it a little bit. Uh, I love the roll neck on it. It's really comfortable like that. But this is a high-cut bodysuit which means half my for day days out all the time. But it's, I'm not offended by that, I'm okay with that. But it's the fact that I can't wear a pair of jeans over top of it without the, um, what would be my pelvic bone sticking out if they showed. I've got some coverage, if you know what I mean, in that area, so um, they don't show, so it just has a little bit of a lumpy bumpy area showing over my jeans, which is not the look that I particularly go for, all for you if you want it, but um, Kind of disappointed in that cut, which is my fault, I know. It looks like nothing because I can't show you it properly in this frame. It is a sweater dress, but it's literally an oversized sweater they chucked on with a belt and it's amazing. It's like fleece lined, it comes nearly to my knees, which is awesome. So I, uh, I'm not exactly a lady when I bend over, so the fact that I can bend over in it, quite nice. The colour's really cute, the sizing's awesome, again I got a size 12, it's long sleeve, oh I just, definitely going to be a staple of mine this winter. And it doesn't even look that cute on, but it's so damn comfortable, you can just push that aside. Another product that, um, let's just say, didn't quite go to plan, unfortunately, and I was really upset about it because it would be really cute, it's just not me. I grabbed this quite a bright orange, like little girl's dress, I call it a little girl's dress, I don't know what they calling, what are they calling it? Ribbed round neck smock dress. Um, and I'm just going to insert the clip of me wearing it. It's not very cute on me by any means. I will still wear it around the house. Maybe it is like an artsy thing or maybe for filming I think it would be really cute. The armholes are absolutely tiny. Like my arms aren't giant by any means, but they're a little bit bigger. But damn, they are squishing out the sides of this dress. Um, doesn't exactly, it's not exactly flattering on my body type either. I'm a bit lumpy, a bit bumpy around the corners. It's just, it didn't work out quite how I would like it to. Story of my life. Two more things, two more things. This, this one I am very happy with, admittedly. It is simply another 
What is this called? I can't even know they're called. Like shirt dresses. It is a long sleeve shift dress, which is basically a long sleeve material that just falls over your body. And they're the best things ever because you can wear them around the house. You can dress them up, dress them down. You feel good in them. My only thing is this is a little bit clink for me, so I'm glad I got a quite dark color. Otherwise, I don't know. If it bothers you that I'm like a little lumpy and bumpy and I'm not that smooth, then those dresses may not be for you. But I can live with it and they're hella comfortable, super soft, and these ones are really cheap too. The last item I will bring to you is this beautiful cropped, it's actually a very quite a cropped sweater or top or jumper, I don't know what to call it. Love the teal colour, it's super warm, it's actually quite thick, and I love how it's like it's not a it's not a cut hem, but it like it's almost a cut hem. So it like it's trendy and it's cute and I feel pretty sexy in it with those white pants, not gonna lie. So I felt pretty good in that. Alrighty, this was my boohoo haul. Did you enjoy it? Was it kind of informative? I feel like it should have been kind of informative along the lines with it. I love shopping, I'm a shopaholic. And I don't actually spend that much money in one go very often, so I'm pretty happy with everything. Minus a few items, of course. Um, tell me your favourite thing and tell me something you didn't like or you don't like about Boohoo quality. They have a lot of hit and misses items, which kind of annoys me because I'm too lazy to go for the, uh, the returns. I hate returning items online, I just will not do it. But I did have a lot of fun. Thumbs this video up if you do like try on hauls. And I'll just see you guys on my next video. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Bye.